Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my summertime accessories, my must-have accessories with you guys. I did this video earlier in the week with beauty essentials that I use during the summer. So this is just gonna be the accessories and then I'll do a third video on clothing items. And the reason for the breaks is just to keep everything together in one video as well as length because you guys know I talk and it's just, it's easier to make three separate videos than it is to make one ridiculously long 45 minute video, if that makes any sense. So that's my um, washing machine. The clothes that I was washing are obviously finished, so that's what that noise was. Anyway, let me get started. First up, I will start where I left off with a hat, just a straw hat for the summer. Um, I obviously like these because I think they're very glamorous, the wide brim hats that are a little floppy. Uh, and then I like that I can put, you know, a belt or even like a chain necklace if I wanted to or a scarf around that brim to change up the look of my hat. Now this one is from Old Navy. It's just a straw, like a bleached straw. I have been on the search for a black one and all the black ones I find have kind of a shorter brim that doesn't really span this much area, which I just like the big brims because they're a little floppier. Um, so I'm still kind of on the lookout for that. I saw one at, was it Talbots? I was, my mom was looking, I think it was Talbots, but it was like 60 bucks and I'm like, yeah, no, it's a hat that I will wear only in the summertime. So yeah, this is what I like. Anyway, so definitely a hat. Um, you don't necessarily have to wear it just when you're outside, although I will tell you that if you're just wearing it to dinner, like inner city, inner city dinner for the night, you will look a little odd. Um, but anywhere in Galveston or getting closer to Galveston is appropriate. Um, anywhere near a lake or uh, just outside a pool, obviously. And then of course, if you're just outside, let's say playing in the yard with your children, that always looks great. And then change up a band to coordinate with whatever you are wearing with whatever you know you have on so that is that that's the big one next would be sunglasses and I have a lot of sunglasses um of course for all the sunglasses that I have in a drawer I only wear one or two of them and that just happens to be one that I'll pull out and wear for like months um at a time and right now those are these and these are just some brown they're Prada um, but they have like a white kind of line that go around them. It's really, really pretty. It goes all the way around the top. And then they're just brown, 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 brown. Um, but they go with everything. I think, you know, brown goes nicely with everything. And these are about, I want to say, three or four years old. My husband bought these for me, I want to say three or four years ago, um, as a Mother's Day present, I think. I don't remember. Is that bad? Um... So yeah, I've had them for a while, but they hold up nicely. And I take really good care of my nice sunglasses. I have a pair of black and a pair of brown that are like no name. I get like at Forever 21 or Urban Outfitters or wherever. And those I just kind of, you know, they throw, I throw them in my bag, I do whatever. But these, whenever I take my nice glasses off, they go into their case and they're nicely protected. These, however, do need to go to Sunglass Hut to be cleaned. And then I think my lenses are popping out a little bit. So I'd like to go get them looked at. Um, for that reason. So sunglasses, of course, a necessity. And I'm a real big stickler about having a pair of brown and a pair of black sunglasses at all times. And regardless of whether they are expensive or non-expensive, I have to have one black and one brown to wear with different things, obviously. Okay, next up would be scarves. Now, I'm a huge scarf fanatic, even in the summer. Love scarves in the winter. I love to layer. Layering is just fun for me. I love it. Um, in the summer, you have to switch it up a little bit, but I love to wear these racerback tanks, and I know I've told you guys that before. Love it. Sometimes in a restaurant, though, the AC will get a little too cold, and I will get chilly, so I love to have a scarf for those reasons. And for the summer, I like really breezy scarves that the air just kind of passes through. Um, and this one came in my last Pop Sugar box. I love it. It's a Gorgiana scarf. Um, but it's just navy blue and white striped with like a hot pink 
edge. It looks, it shows up orange, but it's really a hot pink color. Um, but this is just great. And it's just a big, long, rectangular, squarish kind of scarf that, you know, you just can drape around your neck and wear like that, or you can, you know, bundle yourself up in it, or I, you know, take it and twist it around my hat. So you can do so many things with it. My kids love these for blankets in the car. When they get cold, they'll, mommy, can I have your scarf? And so they use them for blankets. So that's one of them. The other one that I've had and I've been using for summer as well is my Steven Sprouse one from um, Louis Vuitton. And it's just a leopard print scarf that, you know, it's got a nice black and brown to it. And that's kind of the thing. You want to keep your scarves basic, but not so basic that you can't pair them with anything. So like this is just a good brown and black option um, to have in your wardrobe to just throw on top of anything because it will go with anything and then you know this colorful one is just a great option to have as well um, to throw on top of other things so I have you know two scarves that I feel coordinate with everything all the time and um, this one is a very light knit blend I want to say it's cashmere I think I'm not sure it's not the same material as this one. It's a little different, a little like, you know, nicer quality, but I don't really remember. Um, so yeah, the Steven Sprouse one, I guess I could look. Right. Where are you? Where are you? Yes, it says 80% wool, 20% cashmere. So that would be a little bit warmer, you would think, but it's a nice kind of loose knit blend. Does that make sense? Not knit, but you know, loose woven. Woven is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so there are those two scarf options. Next would be handbags, and this summer I'm really, really loving a crossbody. Now what I did with this is, at the suggestion of my friend Lori, I let some of the bag out from here so that it hangs lower on my if that makes any sense. So now instead of hitting, I think I had it like up here, um, it hits down low on my hip and it actually works so much better because I feel like it's anchored now. Whereas before when it was up here, every time I would move, it would do kind of this thing. Now on my hip, it just pretty much stays, you can see when I turn, it stays in that area. It doesn't really move. And so I was having that problem with it, but I could not figure out why I did not really like where it hit and then it never occurred to me to adjust the strap, duh, and make it hit at your hip instead of at your waist. So thank you, Lori, for the obvious, um, for stating the obvious rather, but it works really nicely there. And I've told you before, I want to get more of these little crossbody bags. They're just easy for me. I have, you know, my wallet, um, a lipstick, my ID in there and my cell phone fits and I'm ready to go in and out of a store or just running around. I don't have to carry a big diaper bag or a big purse everywhere. There's that. The other thing is just a nice tote. Now I'm a big fan of the straw tote, which my straw tote is in my uh, bedroom. I use it all year round to catch my um, socks, my lonely socks, the ones that don't have pairs when they come out of the washing machine or the dryer. I will chuck my socks in there and then whenever I need it, like because we're going to the beach or something, I just dump the socks out on the bed and use it for that. But that's where that is. I should have brought it out. It's a beautiful kind of square shaped, huge straw bag that my mom got me in Hawaii like a million years ago. I don't know. They go to Hawaii a lot. So it, she got it a long time ago, but it's really nice woven. It's really great quality and I've had it for years, um, but that's what I use that for. So the other one that I like is a Marc Jacobs canvas tote. This is a hot, feet, hot pink fuchsia color. You can tell this is like my favorite color ever. I love pink. Um, my sister-in-law got me this bag a couple of years ago. I think she was in California and she brought it back home for me, but this is really pretty. She has it in a really pretty dark gray, which is nice year round. Um, but this one, I just really love in the spring and the summer. And it's a good, you know, you can really wear it with anything. It goes with every color. Um, and it's great to have in the summer to throw stuff into or to use as a purse or however you want to use it. Okay, lastly, shoes. Now, shoes in the summertime for me always, always tend to be brown, tan, nude. That's, I don't know why. I really stay away from black shoes in the summer. Black to me, I wear in the fall and the winter. And I know it's one of those psychological things you don't even think about. It just, that's what you end up wearing or buying the most of. So for me, like I said, it's always cream, nude, brown, 
tan colored shoes. Um, if I need to wear a pair of black shoes, I you know obviously will, or I'll use my um, Tori Riva flats. However, everything else is usually brown. And um, the first pair that I will show you is the pair that I wear the least, and it's just because it's a pair of flip flops. You will not catch me in these other than at the beach or at the pool. I literally. I hate flip-flops for, and hate is a very strong word, I know, but I really dislike them for any other reason than beach or pool or water of any degree, washing your car or something like that. Um, I don't consider flip-flops to be shoes, so I don't, for me, they're not appropriate for restaurant wear, you know, anything like that, but I know everybody loves flip-flops and everybody wears them, everybody wears them um, everywhere all the time. Um, to movie theaters, to restaurants, to the mall, to go shopping, like literally all the time. Um, but for me, like I said, you won't catch me unless I'm going to the pool or to the beach or washing my car at home. So these are the only pair of flip-flops that I own. They're a pair of Havaianas. I never say that right. Haviana, Havaianas. Um, but they're, you know, really pretty brown with a little gold and some pink. I got my sister a pair in like gray that were really, really pretty. I don't think she even has them anymore. I think this part broke. I think. Um, but yeah, I've had mine for literally 10 years, seriously. <laughs> um, and I just wear them for those things. Matter of fact, I put them on this weekend because my cousin was having a pool party for her little boy. And I was like, I had my swimsuit on and I had a little cover up dress on top. And then I put these on and I was like, okay, kids, let's go. We got to get in the car. And I'm like, um, husband, get in the car. Cause I'm wearing flip flops and I hate flip flops. We need to get to the pool. <laughs> I was like, you know, my husband's like, oh my God. You're wearing flip-flops. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next up would be a pair of just sandals. And this is what, what I wear when I'm not wearing flip-flops. You know, like when I go somewhere, like a restaurant or shopping or movie theater or <laughs> anywhere else that everybody else would wear flip-flops to. Just a pair of sandals. And to me, this is a sandal, not a flip-flop. Um, a pair of leather made, you know, shoes. So it's got the you know leather and then the strap back here. And that's the biggest part with the flip-flop. I hate that flip-flop sound. That it makes the slapping of your foot. I don't like that. Um, and so this prevents that, obviously. And that, for me, is how I like my sandals. I like them with a back strap of some sort. So here are these. These are the Tory Burch. They, yeah, I don't have a name on them. They're just plain. And I forgot to take a sticker off. Isn't that cool? It says seven and a half on it. Um, what are they called? Oh, here they are. No, there's no name on there. I forget what they're called. But they're just tan, and then there's a gold, and then the buckle's gold. Anyway, so just really great. And the reasoning for the brown and everything is I like to do brown and black combinations. So if I wear, like, black shorts, I'll usually wear a tan or a brown shoe. And I like the way that looks. I think it looks preppy if you do it the right way. Next would be... The other pair that I'm loving this summer, and that is these. Love, love, love these. Now, last year, it was really, it was my Tory Burch Riva flats in royal tan. I wore those out, which I was determined not to wear out this summer because they're becoming very worn, and I love them. They're the most comfortable shoes I own, and I love them. But they're getting to a point where I'll probably have to replace them. So I was determined not to do that this summer, which is the reason behind my new Tory Burch um, sandals, and then these also, which I like to wear. These are silver and gold with little kind of crystals on them, um, but just another great breathable option for the winter. And lastly, a pair of wedges. Now, the wedges I wanted were from Tory Burch. They were sold out of my size when I finally went to, or I watched them for like three weeks and then they went on sale and I was like, I'm gonna go get them, I'm gonna get them. And then when I put them in my basket, they did not have my size anymore. And they didn't even have an eight. I was like, you know what, I'll wear the eight. I know they're gonna be huge, but I'll wear it anyway. They didn't even have that. So could not get the ones that I wanted. And I'm the kind of person that once I see the style that I like, I won't settle for anything unless it is reminiscent of that. So the ones that I wanted were just pretty much like this. Um, they had like a canvas strap like this that or crisscross that way. Um, and these are from Target. They're the Marona brand from Target. The cork is not real cork. It is a, you know, like overlay. It looks pretty cheap actually, but these are pretty and that's the style that I wanted. And these were only like $20 versus the Tory Burch ones. Um, but so for this summer, these have satisfied me. The Tory Burch ones I wanted had a Tory Burch thing back here that were really pretty and then the straps. 
And for me, sandals and flip-flops, or not flip-flops, uh, wedges, I have to be very careful here how the strap falls. If it's a straight strap across, I can't wear it. It makes my foot look funny. And honestly, I have seen very few people whose feet look good in those that one you know single strap across because it hits your foot like at the widest part of your your foot at the where your toes are and so it just makes the rest of your foot look wide if that makes any sense or it does on me I'm not saying it does on you but it does on me so for me this makes my foot look skinny <laughs> um so yeah I like that right here um the crisscross straps so that is that I have other lots of other shoes that I love but I really don't consider them my summer you know sandals because sandals you can wear year-round here in Houston. It doesn't get that cold. Um, it gets cold, but not that cold. So, you know, I've got other kind of dressy sandals and casual sandals, Jessica Simpson ones, that I love to wear. But these are the ones that I would say I am wearing the most of this summer. So that is it for accessories. Um, aside from just, you know, of course, jewelry, pieces of jewelry that you can mix and match with your clothing to just give it, you know, new life or just accessorize that way. But my jewelry is pretty year round. I mean, you don't, you know, I really don't distinguish my jewelry as to seasonal. Um, but yeah, you can see them as seasonal if you'd like. But this piece, this is a bobble bar necklace. It's in rose gold. It's just a double curb chain necklace that I love. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what your must have accessories are down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.